What happens when you combine CSG and program synthesis? Let's find out. Most commercial products start out as CAD files, 3D models with design specifications. Many engineers build these models using constructive solid geometry, a technique that assembles various basic shapes or primitives with adjustable parameters into more complex objects. The final step involves converting the 3D model into a mesh of triangles that define its shape, which can then be used as an input for various applications, including simulation and 3D printing. Now, customizing that mesh can be difficult, and this is where the problem comes in. Converting a 3D mesh back into a 3D model doesn't scale well with complexity, and accuracy can be compromised when working with noisy, low-resolution files. Fortunately, a team of researchers from MIT have found a way to apply a technique known as program synthesis to break CAD models into their primitive shapes automatically. Basically, their system does the reverse of what design engineers normally do, disassembling CAD models into individual shapes that can then be edited. Using program synthesis, their system crawls through the triangle mesh to determine the shapes that compose it, and then breaks those shapes down into their component parts. In the end, you get a tree of nodes representing the primitive shapes and how they fit together. So far, they're able to reverse engineer CAD files composed of up to 100 primitives, with simpler models being broken down in roughly a minute. The system can only handle four primitive shapes right now, but the researchers are aiming to increase the complexity of its CSG grammar to handle even more. Aside from the obvious impact to design, this could have major implications for mass customization, which many 3D printing optimists see as the next big trend in manufacturing. Like what you see? Comment below, connect with us on Twitter or Facebook, or start a project board. 